This is Michael Brown. Good morning, Santa Clarita. We are here. We've been talking about pedestrian, motorcycle, and we're going to get into some bicycle safety. If you're just now joining us, I'm Michael Brown, the After Hours News Director here with KHTS. I'm sitting next to Sergeant Shoemaker, Deputy Acosta, and Shirley Miller, all with the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station, as well as Kerry Lujan from the city of Santa Clarita. You guys hanging in there? We having fun? Of course. Hey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, before I let you go, I do want to talk about bicycle safety. We just recently had uh, a crash uh, involving a bicyclist on Lyons about a month or so ago. I remember I was actually heading home. I was going uh, down Lyons Avenue and I saw the direct aftermath of the person lying in the road and I pulled over to the side of the road and you know at first like is the guy okay but then you know thankfully there was um, a large contingent of, of people there who were rushing around trying to help him out so I kind of stepped to the side and I got to watch the first responders come in, sheriffs come in, trying to figure out what happened. But that's not the only, you know, bicycle crash that's happened here in Santa Clarita in 2019 alone. Deputy Acosta, can you tell me what the statistics are like on that? Yeah, um, as of uh, now, sorry, as of uh, June 30th, we are at 12 bicycle collisions, and last year this time is uh, 24. So we're about half right now. Unfortunately, when it comes to the fatalities, we are up two, and last year was zero. Gotcha. So, so we have less collisions, but almost more severe. Correct. Yeah. Gotcha. So, what, Sergeant Shoemaker, tell me what what causes bicyclists? I know we're talking about distraction. We're talking distraction on part of the driver and on the part of the uh, either the motorcyclist or the pedestrian. What about the bicyclist? What what may lead to that? Uh, again, it kind of goes to a dual, you know, responsibility. Um, but bicyclists need to use the bike lanes when they're available. Um, use the paseos and the bike paths that are off the roadway completely when they're when they're available. Um, wear, you know, protective clothing, um, the helmets. You know, it's not a lot for a bicycle, but use at least a helmet. Um, be visible. Um, it's usually more often than not the collisions are at an intersection, so it's a matter of a right away. Uh, you know, of a, a bicyclist crossing an intersection or the car not yielding properly or, or vice versa. Um, so it's kind of, a, like I said, almost the same as the pedestrians. It's a dual. Both parties are responsible. Both parties need to take some responsibility, make sure they're doing the right thing when, they, when they're sharing the roadways. Gotcha. Now, uh, dual question for Carrie and Shirley. How do we prevent this? We've been asking for every single one, and every time we're coming up with the Heads Up campaign, it seems that that's really helping with um, you know, bringing down these number of collisions. Is the Heads Up campaign also involved in as well as the traffic safety team, are they down or involved with the bicyclist side as well? Um, actually, yes. Last year we launched the, um, every year we try to do a different iteration of the Heads Up campaign. The first year focused on pedestrian safety. Uh, last year focused on cyclist safety. And this year we're moving into a DUI prevention campaign. So for Heads Up last year, we really focused on making sure cyclists knew that they should see and be see be seen, wear bright colors, have lights on your bike, um, red for the rear, white for the front, gear up, always make sure you have on proper shoes and a helmet, and be predictable. Again, cross streets at marked crosswalks and intersections only, and always go with the flow of traffic. Some of the other things that we've done throughout the Heads Up campaign is we have put stencils actually on the sidewalk before the crosswalks that say Heads Up. We've put Heads Up cyclist stencils on the many, we have I think 95 miles of bike trails throughout the city, throughout those so people know when they're riding just to remember to Heads Up, look what's around you and make sure that you're being careful. And it's ab absolutely essential if you're riding a bicycle at night, make sure you have those lights on your bikes. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for coming in today. Thank you for crowding into this room with me. I've had fun. I hope everybody listening and watching uh, has enjoyed this conversation. I think it's been really productive. Before we go, is there anything anybody would like to say to the people of Santa Clarita in the vein of motorcycle, pedestrian, bicycle safety? Just be a heads-up driver, pedestrian, and cyclist. Make sure you're looking both ways, avoid distractions, and keep an eye out for the new heads-up DUI campaign, which is going to focus on knowing your limits and knowing your options. Eyes on the road and not on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. Watch your speeds. Use uh, ride-sharing if you're going to be out having fun, which is perfectly fine, but make sure you have a safe ride home, Uber, Lyft, taxi, whatever it may be, a designated driver that's not drinking not the least amount of drinking. Thank you everyone for joining me. Thank you again everybody for listening, reporting with KHTS Radio. I'm Michael Brown.